Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. We have 21 sales, but 25 items. So we do have a couple bundles in there. Uh, everything has been moved from my inventory rack to my shipping rack. I have all of my labels printed out. I use a Dymo label writer for XL to print my labels. And then I just hand write all the information on the back to prepare for the video. So let's go ahead and get into it. Our first sale is a men's item. This was my only sale in my men's closet, but it was a pretty good one. This is an ASOS plaid blazer. It's like a navy base and then a red and cream, or I guess tan plaid print. This I picked up at the Goodwill outlet in Austin and it is cheaper there than it is here in Houston so I probably only paid about a dollar for this which was great it did still have the extra buttons attached on the inside and the back the hem and back uh, is still sewn shut so it's like brand new and these ASOS men's blazers can retail for quite a bit. This one might have been around 75 to 100, maybe 130 ish. So, yeah, this was a great pickup. I listed it at $38 and it ended up selling full price over in my men's closet. That's Mr. Underscore Poshman, is the closet name. So, my Earnings after Poshmark fees were taken out. If you're unfamiliar, Poshmark does take 20% of all sales above $15. And so after they took their 20%, my earnings came out to $29.40. So very happy with this. This is a great uh, kind of warmer weather blazer. It's made of cotton, not like a wool or anything heavy. Okay, next up we have a lightweight sweater by Vince. This is from their newer tag, which I do like to get, especially if it has quite a bit going for it, which this piece does. It's a cashmere and silk blend, which is definitely a little bit higher quality than just like a cotton or anything else. It also has a really nice minimalist kind of contemporary striped print and a dropped shoulder. That dropped shoulder I really like in my own clothing just because it adds a little bit of, it makes it a little more casual even though it's definitely a chic kind of contemporary piece. So I like that kind of juxtaposition of styles so this I listed at $50 just because it is the newer tag and it is such a nice fabric blend and within I would say a week of being listed someone liked it and so I sent them out a $45 offer with discount shipping that was accepted, making my earnings $33.32. I paid two for it, and so my net profit was $31.32 on that Vince sweater. Moving on, we have a pair of Athleta pants. These are called the Trekkie pants. And if you're unfamiliar with Athleta stuff, they always have the date of the item on the interior tag. I always try to look at that. So these are from 2015 and I do remember seeing that at the bins but not being dissuaded by that at all because they are in fabulous condition. They really have no signs of wear and because this style of pant from Athleta does, it's very in demand I would say. Like the kind of athleisure, sporty, almost like hiking kind of pants. Uh, so I for sure uh, grabbed these at the bins and was excited to find them. I had them listed at 45 and maybe two months later someone sent me an offer of 30 which I did go ahead and accept. I think that's kind of right on point for uh, like a good price point for this kind of pant. Um, especially, you know, considering they are a little bit older. 
So I accepted my earnings were 24. They're pretty lightweight, so I probably paid right around a dollar for them, making my net profit $23. Okay, next is a Lululemon top. So this may look like just a basic long sleeve black top from Lululemon, but this particular style is definitely in demand. I think it's a little bit harder to find. There has to be something about it that people just really like. It might be the material because it is very soft. Um, it's also a longer length, kind of covers the bum, which a lot of people like also. Something about it makes it more desirable and there are very few available on Poshmark with several many many solds which is definitely what you want to see when you're looking at comps uh, and some Lululemon pieces like this are more desirable than others that's why I always try to take the time to find the style name and so when I found the style name of this let me see what it was it was I I go to Facebook and I am a part of the Lululemon A to Z Facebook group and they have picture albums with every single Lululemon top, pant, bra that has been in production and I just kind of scroll through that to see to find it. So that's how I found it. It's the Lululemon tuck and flow uh, long sleeve. And so, yeah, I listed it with the style name and it sold for full price of $50 within a few days of being listed. So that was awesome. If I had not found the style name on this and I had just listed it, you know, Lululemon Athleisure Black Long Sleeve Top, I probably would have listed it at like 30 ish but because I knew the demand for the specific style I did list higher at 50 sold full price my earnings were 40 I paid two so my net profit was $38 on that top so love that so yeah Lululemon A to Z is a great resource on Facebook it's a Facebook group you I think you have to ask to join and then also lulufanatics.com is another great resource um, but it's kind of harder to find to identify items on that website um, if you don't know the style name already. Okay, next we have a two item bundle. First off is this Athleta Bra. And this actually is the same kind of thing. This did have really good comps in particular. It's like, it's almost like a crop top kind of bra. And this was their newer tag, which always does really well for me. I did pick this up at regular Goodwill and um, I think my Goodwill charges three dollars for sports bras so that was a pretty good price I'd say. This was also a newer piece. I think that was like 2020 and on. Second and last piece in the bundle is this really cute pair of Zara pointed toe. They're like an almond toe flat, really soft, kind of supple leather, really nice, um, in great condition. I grabbed these from my Family Thrift Center outlet for $2. Zara leather accessories like shoes, purses, hats, so great for me, for sure. So when the two of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $70. And the buyer sent me a message and asked if I would do $50 with discount ship on the bundle. And I went ahead and sent her that offer. And I messaged her back. I said, offer just sent. And she accepted. So that was great. I have had both of these for maybe about a month or two months now, so I was ready to move them out. And so yeah, so happy with this sale. 
Uh, my earnings were $37.32. I paid $5 for both pieces, and so my net profit came out to $32.32. Okay, moving on, we have a pair of Vince Camuto sandals. I just recently listed these. They're really cool and uh, like contemporary, almost kind of 90s-ish. They have a squarish toe. Uh, they did have a small flaw on the footbed, and I did see that at the store. But when you're wearing the shoes, you don't see it. So, and they're genuine leather. So, I for sure decided to still grab them. I think they, uh, you know, have a lot of life left to them and I listed them at 28. If they didn't have the flaw, I probably would have listed closer to 35-ish, just because Vince Camuto is such a solid seller shoe brand for me. But I listed at 28. Someone liked them, and so I sent them out a $25 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, and so my earnings were $17.32. And my net profit was $15.32. I do add in a piece of paper crumpled up on the top of the box uh, just to fill any extra room so that shoes that I'm shipping don't move around too much in transit and get damaged. Moving on, we have a pair of pants from Aritzia. These are from Wilfred. It's a brand, it's a house brand for Aritzia. These are called the, is it Essential Pants? Or I wanna say, oh, Effortless Pants, yeah. They're high rise, wide leg, really like contemporary, nice um, closet staple here. This pant from Aritzia, the Effortless Pant, very high demand. I think it's on back order on aritzia.com and um, I want to say it's like a blogger favorite. I think a lot of uh, well-known bloggers wear this pant and people are just on the hunt for it. So I listed these at $125 just because they have no flaws and they are in such high demand. And within just a few days, I received an offer of 85, which I did counter to 95. That was countered back to 90 and I countered again to 95. That was my bottom, uh, my lowest price for these. Just because I did purchase them from a friend uh, I bought 35 items from her for $400, and so divided out, these cost me $11.43, and so my net profit was $64.57 on these pants. So anytime I am positive that an item has a high demand, uh, it's very marketable, people are searching for it, they are searching out the exact style name of it and want to buy it. I am more firm on my price. I'm also willing to pay a higher price initially for it before flipping. That's that. Okay, next we have a cardigan from Billabong. I have been loving selling Billabong recently. It's a really nice kind of laid back boho kind of brand very beachy this is a plaid printed long line soft flannel uh, cardigan has a fringe trim and roll tab sleeves really pretty you could wear this a lot of different ways and let's see I listed this at 28 Someone liked it, and so I sent them out a $25 offer with discount ship. That was accepted. Oh, sorry, that wasn't accepted. That was countered to 21. I actually didn't see that counter offer. And so when that expired, the same person 
countered again at 23 so they came up an extra two dollars which I was fine with 23 I probably would have countered 21 so 23 was great and so I did accept my earnings were eighteen dollars and forty cents I paid two and so my net profit was sixteen dollars and forty cents on this piece alrighty next up we have a Chico's top. This is so cute, very summery, very boho. Has a lot happening. It's a poncho fit with embroidery and little like circular mirror accents within the embroidery all the way down. It's 100% cotton with a fun print all over. So I, of course, added tons of keywords like beachy, boho, um, <laughs> those are the only two I can think of but Chico's is for sure one of my favorite brands to sell at the moment this is a size small medium I listed it at $32 and I would say within two to three weeks it sold for full price 32 my earnings were $25.60 I paid two and so my net profit was $23.60. I like Chico's because I do list it a little bit higher than some of my other bread and butter kind of stuff like Free People, Made Well. I usually list Chico's in that 30 to 35-ish dollar range, sometimes a little bit higher, and it always sells right around there. So that's awesome that's definitely working smarter not harder when you can sell items at a higher price point um as opposed to you know selling more items that would add up to that higher price point because you're not spending the time to photo and list several items if that makes sense okay next we have a pair of shoes these are Stuart Weitzman. I picked these up at the bins. Really pretty platform wedge espadrille sandals. I've actually sold these before in a tan color. These are gray. And I'm going to wrap these individually because they are suede and I don't want the suede to rub together. I actually found these next to a really cool pair of bed stew shoes. I don't know where they are right now, but they were very clearly donated by the same person. And yeah, they had great style. So I was happy to stumble into their donations for sure. So I listed these Stuart Weitzman shoes at 65. They did have some wear to the insole, like just some toe imprints um, which a lot of people don't really care about because when you're wearing the shoe you don't see the wear at all they look brand new if they did not have those imprints I probably would have listed them around a hundred ish but I did list them at 65 and they sold for full price which was awesome I would say it took them about a month to sell so yeah sold full price of $65 that made my earnings 52 and my net profit right around $50 on these shoes so very happy with that and these are very high quality they're made in Spain uh, from great materials and they should honestly last a lifetime so I hope the buyer loves them okay next we have a three item bundle. I'm going to grab my box number seven. This is my box that I ship all of my kind of bulkier bundles in or just bulky items. Uh, yeah, box number seven, you can order it online, usps.com. I have the instructions linked, or I have them in the description um, for how to order free shipping supplies. So, our first piece is this open front cardigan from Moth, which is a, an anthropology house brand. Really cute. It's like a black and cream sweater knit. This is a cocoon cardigan. Really pretty. 
has like a bat wing dolman kind of sleeve. I've had that for maybe about a month now. This Topshop cardigan I've had for probably about nine months now. It has been a been a while. I ordered this from ThreadUp's online outlet section. I thought it was so cute with the fringe all over and I also got it because it is a wool blend which does elevate it just a little bit. Yeah, 9% wool, size 6 in really nice neutral colors. I try to order uh, more substantial items from ThreadUp's online outlet just because they tend to resell for more. And lastly is this anthropology dress. From, it's a collab piece with Mare Mare or I think it's Mare Mare. Uh, size small. It's a tiered tunic style dress. Really cute. It has a texture to it. Fully lined. This was yet another item that I purchased from a friend. Um, so I also paid, what was it, like $11.40 for this, which honestly is a great price point for this piece because this collab does seem to sell very well, in particular from Anthropology. So yeah, I just folded everything nicely into the box. I'm going to add a piece of paper on top as well as a thank you sticker so that it's presentable when the buyer opens. I did drop my label. Let me grab that and double check everything. Yes. So now I will just close this up. So when the buyer bundled the three of these items, the bundle price including my automatic 15% off three items or more that's an automatic bundle discount I give in my closet it came out to $105 and the buyer offered me a hundred which was obviously super fair I was very happy with that super happy to move the Topshop cardigan because like I said I have had it for a while and so my earnings were $80 I paid $18 for everything and my net profit was 62 on this bundle so ecstatic about that. Next we have yet another three item bundle. First piece is this altered state green button down. Uh, is that a high-low hem midi dress with a little waist belt? Really cute. I do really enjoy getting uh, midi and maxi length dresses and skirts from both Altered State and Umji. They do sell great for me. Second piece is this Urban Outfitters dress. This is Silence and Noise. It's a little printed kind of skater style dress. I got this in a Joe Mar mystery box, I believe. It was exclusively Anthropology, Urban Outfitters, and Free People pieces. And last item in this bundle is this Fate Leopard Print Sweater. This is so cute. It has distressed edges and anything with a leopard print honestly sells so well for me. It's definitely one of my most popular prints. So for the three of these, uh, again, when the buyer bundled the three and the 15% discount was applied, the price came out to $68 and I was offered 55, which I did go ahead and accept. That made my earnings 44. I paid eight for everything. And so my net profit was $36 on this bundle. So I'm happy with that. That uh, Urban Outfitters black and cream printed dress I have had now for probably about a year. So I did want to move that. And the leopard print sweater I just grabbed on Dollar Day. Um, so yeah, happy with this bundle for sure. Hope the buyer loves it. These are all super cute pieces. Very boho. 
kind of easy to just throw on and make a cute, quick outfit with. Okay. Then we have a pair of shoes. These are Mizmoos, which is a great brand to look out for. Uh, people search for it. They know it. They know it's good quality. I think it's sold at places like Nordstrom, and I'm sure they have their own website. Uh, some of the boots can sell for quite a bit. And I listed these at $32. I would say within two weeks, maybe even a week, they sold for full price of $32, which was great. That made my earnings $25.60. And my net profit, $23.60. So, great pickup here. I think I might go ahead and put these in an envelope just because they're pretty soft. Um, I don't think that would... Uh, I'll just put them in a box. I try to safely ship... Uh, all, all of my items and I just feel like shoes are safest in a box unless they're like a fabric material like Tevas or Chacos but usually leather and suede stuff I do like to ship in boxes. These were really cute. They had like a scalloped edge going all the way around kind of like a dupe for the Chloe flats. So I was happy when I found these, especially for $2. Moving on, we have a Reformation dress. This was yet another piece that I purchased from a friend. So a uh, price on this was also like $11.40. This is called the Reformation Seattle dress. And like I was mentioning, with some earlier items. This piece in particular, the Seattle linen dress from Reformation, it's in particularly high demand. So I was really happy to see that when checking comps. I don't think I found any in this black colorway. I think they were all white that were listed. So I definitely did list higher on this. I listed at $145. If I had not checked comps on this specific style of dress from Reformation, the Seattle dress, I probably would have listed it at like 85 or 95 ish. But once I saw how in demand it was, I did list at 145. And within just a few days, I got a $100 offer, which I did counter to 125 just kind of reiterating, I was very confident that, uh, you know, this would sell at that price, 125 either to the buyer I was countering with or to someone else. And luckily they did accept that counter. So my earnings were $100 and my net profit was $88.57. So Super happy with that. Whenever I do a big buyout, like, you know, I spent $400, I always look at the at the items that the person is, you know, showing me to see if I want to buy. And I always look for a few big ticket items that will help me quickly make back my initial investment and so that, you know, I can start to make profit because you don't want to sit on a $400 investment for a long time. You want to go ahead and recoup that and start making a profit. Okay, next up we have this Saltwater Lux cardigan. It's like a long line midi length cardigan with this micro polka dot print. So I really don't know much about this brand, Saltwater Lux. I still don't know much about it. I just got it mostly based on style. Uh, the midi length is is great for me. It's a great seller. And the micro polka dot print I thought was cute. Um, it also was kind of an interesting cut. It's like a collared cardigan, uh, but it's not really structured at all. So it kind of 
makes your outfit a little bit more formal. So this would be great to wear to like dinner or just an evening out in general. I listed this at 40. It probably took about six months to sell. So I got an offer of 32. I accepted that. My earnings were $25.60. I paid two and so my net profit was $23.60. So pretty good, especially for a piece that I was totally unfamiliar with the brand. Basically just picked it up based on style. I'm definitely happy with that. Had to open up a new thank you sticker roll here. I've been trying my hardest to keep all of my shipping supplies uh, like extras of them so that I never run out because it's kind of stressful when I run out. Okay, now we have another pair of shoes. These are Naot, N-A-O-T sandals. This is a brand I would highly recommend you guys pick up, especially if you can find it for like $3 and under. If it's boots or a more substantial kind of shoe, I would pay up to like $10 um, because I have sold several pairs of shoes from this brand for around that $50 mark. But the sandals, I would say sell for like $25 to $35-ish generally. However, I did sell a pair recently for $50. So it just kind of depends on the style and how much they have going for them. These I listed at $35. The buyer offered $20 and I countered $25. And I think she messaged me and said, uh, no thanks, I have a budget. Like she didn't want to accept the $25 offer. But then she said, you know what? It's closet clear out. So if you lower the price, to 25 and I get the discounted shipping I'll accept so I went ahead and did that I just lowered the price she accepted when it's when it sells on closet clear out uh, Poshmark the shipping discount comes out of Poshmark's pocket not yours but if you were to send an offer out and send a discount shipping that would discount that would come out of your pocket so I do like lowering for closet clear out because the discounted shipping comes out of Poshmark's uh, pocket I just said I ship shoes in a box <laughs> and here I am I think these should be fine though I'm just gonna go ahead and ship these in this because they're pretty secure in there and they should be fine so yeah Anyways, I feel like that was very long-winded and I didn't say much, but my earnings on those were 20 and my net profit was 18. And I do recommend looking out for Naot. Okay, very exciting sale here. We have a pair of Yves Saint Laurent or YSL lambskin leather neutral espadrille loafers. These are gorgeous. I found these on $2 day at my family thrift center outlet. And someone, I think someone put them back because the serial number is kind of hard to read. And actually when I got them authenticated the first time, the service that I used, Real Authentication, told me that they could not make a determination on if they were authentic or not because of that issue, the serial number being faint. But I was able to get a better picture. I just used better lighting and then they did authenticate them. Uh, it's a great service, real authentication. Each pair of shoes goes through, I'm gonna wrap these better, goes through uh, two trained professionals, trained authenticators, to authenticate your shoes. Well, I guess that wasn't that bad. I should have just left them. Well, now I need a new piece of paper. I'm multitasking too much. I'm not thinking about what I'm doing. But anyways, yeah, I highly recommend real authentication. I'll reuse that. Actually, maybe I'll stuff the shoes. It's $30 per item you authenticate. I do have a code down below that gets you like $5 off. They're usually pretty quick. Uh, my experience has been like the next day they get back to me um, and I don't pay for the 
upgraded time or anything. Um, so yeah, they came back authentic. So exciting. These are gorgeous. I love the neutral color. They're in pretty great shape, honestly. So I did list them at $300. I just kind of went with what comps were showing. Um, I'm going to wrap them in separate papers. And maybe, I would say two weeks after being listed, I got a $200 offer. So I listed at $300, got a $200 offer, which I did counter to $275. They countered back at 235 and I countered back at 250 That was my lowest price that I had in mind, and they did accept that. So that was awesome. My earnings came out to 200 Like I said, I paid $2, and so my net profit was $198 on these shoes. So exciting. The $30 uh, authentication fee was waived because I had credits from you guys using my code. So thank you if you've used my code. Otherwise, you know, that would have eaten into my profit. I'm going to add a thank you sticker. And then I do wrap high ticket items in plastic. I don't generally like to use plastic in my shipping just to be a little more eco-friendly, but I don't really want to, um, I want to be extra careful with high ticket items. I've never had a problem, um, but if I were to have a problem, I basically just would not want it to happen with a $250 sale. So I'm just going to wrap these up here and add a piece of tape. I also think it's just, you know, a nicer way to secure your package. I was so incredibly excited to find these. I had to do a double take because I found them when I was about to leave. I was just doing kind of a double check around the store and I was like, are those YSL? <laughs> loafers there. I've actually also found Chanel lambskin espadrille loafers at this store. They were also authentic. Those sold for $275. Um, so yeah, very happy with this. Let me just triple check that this is the buyer. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to run to the post office soon. Next we have a prana dress. This is an athleisure style dress. Athleisure style dresses like this sell extremely well for me. Um, people just wear them, you know, uh, all throughout the summer for many kinds of occasions. You can go to a barbecue in this, uh, go hiking go to the beach or you know even just be outside walk around like an outdoor mall they're sweat wicking they're comfortable uh, this has a belt built-in shelf bra so you don't have to worry about wearing a bra but you're still supported the padding was still there which is great sometimes it is missing but this dress honestly looks brand new so I did list it at $38 and it sold full price for 38, which was awesome. That made my earnings $30.40 and my net profit $28.40. So, super happy with this. Next up, we have a pair of jeans. These are Levi's size 24W. They're new with tags. And they are the 414 Classic Straight Jeans. So I was happy to find these, especially considering they are new with tags. My Family Thrift Center Outlet Store has a really great plus size section of pants. They always have so many new with tags there. And no one ever seems to uh, be looking in that section. So, I am super happy to go in and uh, 
you know, get some great plus size inventory. I always try to look out for cute, uh, good quality and condition plus size stuff because I think plus sizes are definitely kind of underrepresented on the secondhand market. And, you know, that's not cool, I'd say. I think every, every size and style and uh, figure, shape, uh, deserves to have a good selection anywhere online in store and so yeah happy to find these I listed them at 40 and today I got an offer of 34 which was super fair I did accept that made my earnings $27.20 and I might need to switch these let me switch these to a box I paid two, so my net profit was $25.20. So, great sale. Hope the buyer loves them. Just a true wardrobe staple here. Switch my label over. I love having my Dymo labels because they print on like a sticker back and so you just stick them on like a sticker instead of having to take time to uh, tape them down every time you put a label on something. Definitely saves time and when you are doing a task so many times repetitively uh, that time does add up. Okay, two more sales. Next, we have this Charter Club maxi skirt. I picked this up. I definitely don't always get Charter Club, but it was a size 12. It's 100% linen, and it's maxi length. So all of those uh, characteristics definitely make it very marketable in my opinion. This is again just kind of a great closet staple. You could wear this to the beach or again anywhere outside just because linen is so lightweight and breathable. And it was in excellent condition also. So this sold full price after I'd say maybe a well two weeks to a month of being listed of $28. That made my earnings $22.40. I paid two and so my net profit was $20.40. And our very last sale to package up today is yet another pair of shoes. These are Lucky Brand sandals. They're called the Jokipa sandals, and they're a platform espadrille strappy. I think they are leather upper. Yeah, leather upper strappy sandal. Uh, Lucky Brand shoes sell phenomenally for me very quickly for a great return. So I listed these at 40, and someone liked them, so I sent them out a $36 offer to which they countered at 30. And I did go ahead and accept that. That made my earnings 24. I paid two, and so my net profit was $22 on these sandals. These are a really nice, just kind of neutral, everyday summer shoes. I hope the buyer loves. And again, I'll add that piece of paper on top to fill in any extra room. And I think that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.